It's Elite 11 season. The 2024 Elite 11 Finals roster is taking shape. Invites are going out. Can you guys believe the Elite 11 is celebrating its 25th year? In this video, I got director of the Elite 11, Brian Stump, on to go behind the scenes of the top QB camp of the offseason. But first, you guys, make sure you're locked in. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. All right, let's bring on Brian Stump from the Elite 11. Now, Here's a look at all the invites, nine of them so far, more to come though, and there's a couple that I want to talk to you about, Brian, and let's just start with one of the hottest names out there right now, Keelan Russell out of Duncanville, Texas, and he's committed early on to SMU, but just this Sunday, Alabama's offered, UF is looking at him, Texas, the Longhorns are involved. Uh, what did you see from Keelan Russell at his regional, and are you surprised, or did you expect this type of recruitment to happen? Yeah, well, first, thanks for having me on, Josh. Uh, it's, it's always great to talk about quarterbacks in the Elite 11, <laughs> yeah. something near and dear to our heart, right? Uh, and specifically with, with Keelan Russell from Duncanville, Texas, uh, I think we were anticipating this. We really liked him a lot at the regional last year when we were in Texas, mm -hmm. when he came in as an underclassman, uh, super athletic, good frame, um, and, and then obviously went out and backed it up with a huge junior year, you know, state title at Duncanville. He has great receivers to throw to, but I think when you put him in this setting, at the Elite 11 Regional where it's just him and his performance stands on his own. Um, it really it really gave him the forum to to show his skills. And, and he's added some good weight from when he saw him. He's up over 185 pounds now. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, great frame. And the trend with quarterbacks, you really have to be athletic at this point, especially if you look at the, the six quarterbacks that just went in the first round of the NFL draft. All those guys can move. All those guys tested well, both when they were in high school um, and, and brought a run threat in the, in, the, in the run game when they're in college. So uh, Keelan fits that build. Um, he's only getting better, um, and I think I think uh, that's what the the colleges are catching the scent of. This is a kid who's who's already really good, but the upside with his athletic frame and um, you know thirst for learning, he's going to continue to get better um, as he gets his feet wet at this position. Yeah, and you can see college coaches are kind of gaining interest as he puts it all together. Now, one prospect that has put it all together is five-star quarterback Tavian St. Clair. He committed early to Ohio State, so a lot of recruiting fans might not hear the buzz about Tavian St. Clair because he's locked in into Ohio State, but what are the Buckeye fans getting in Tavian St. Clair? They're getting one of the most polished pocket passers in this year's class, I think, without a doubt. And, and to your point on, you know, maybe he's not as talked about. I think this past weekend was really some of the first seven on seven he's done. So he's not a mm -hmm. guy that's out there every weekend and really, you know, current in a lot of uh, rundowns and articles and top performers at various seven on seven events and things like that. But um, again, he, he performs on the field and performs on Friday Night Lights first and foremost. And, and he was a guy, again, who popped on our radar last year at the regional. And, uh, you know, I think Coach Ryan Day at Ohio State has a, has a great advantage right now with a son that's um, also a high school quarterback. So he's been out and been able to see a lot of guys at events the last year or two with his son, RJ, going out. And um, he got to see Tavian last year as an underclassman. And I think that really accelerated Ohio State's pursuit of him. He came back and camped again in the summer. Um, and, and so they got the early the early dibs on him and, and him being an in-state guy. I think that was a, a natural fit for them at the end of the day. But yeah, he's added good weight from last year. He's up to 224, but he moves so well in the pocket. Great base. Um, and, and, and again, just his performance at the regional was really one of the, the best and you know, all around top performances we've seen this spring. All right, let's go down to Florida where we got three-star quarterback Tremel Jones committed to Florida State. Now he plays at Mandarin High School. A lot of fans know Mandarin because that's where five-star wide receiver Jamie French is playing. Uh, he's a three-star, but he made the cut early. What did you guys see from Tremel Jones? Man, so consistent, so polished. Um, again, I, I talked about earlier with Keelan Russell, plays with great receivers. And you mentioned, you referenced Jamie Frantz for Tramiel um, at Mandarin. Again, him, him, he's in this format where it's just him on the day. And he was in a group with some some top quarterback prospects there in Oxford. Um, and he he dominated that camp from, from drill one to drill 12 um, as we go through our stations. And um, very, very rarely when we circle up with our five or six lead coaches at the end of the event, do we have a consensus of, you know, this was the top guy at my station. This was the top guy. And and that was Tramiel Jones at our Oxford Regional. So uh, really an outstanding performance because, yeah, he's not a guy that uh, you referenced his recruiting rating that's that's up in the top five or ten for probably anybody at this point. Uh, but from what we've seen um, this far on the on the tour in the spring, um, his camp performance has to rank up there in the in the top two or three from the standpoint of consistently accurate, great base, um, always on balance and, and being able to deliver. Um, both on the move out of pocket when we ask the quarterbacks to move, but then, you know, setting up in the pocket and, and throwing a strike. 
I was looking at some of the names from the recent Atlanta regional, and it's just absolutely loaded. So it got me thinking, which regional so far has been the most competitive? Yeah, the, the Atlanta one obviously is, is fresh in our minds uh, coming back off that flight late Sunday night um, and, and that being a great group with with Julian Lewis and Bryce Baker leading the way. But yeah. um, several other strong performances and there'll be there'll be guys in that event as we circle back and, and fill out the, the field for the Elite 11 finals. It certainly will be um, in strong conversation. And then I think the, the Austin, Texas regional as well. Um, it was our second stop back in late March. Uh, Texas is obviously a great state for quarterbacks, especially in the last 10 to 15 years, has, has honestly mm -hmm. surpassed California in terms of the number of both college and NFL uh, quarterbacks they've produced down there in that state. So only having one regional in that, in that area, in that part of the country, we know that the uh, Texas stop is always going to be loaded and the Austin camp did not disappoint this year. No, no disappointments there. Uh, so we're sitting at nine invites so far and they're going to add more. Uh, how many more are we looking to add? And what are you looking for in these final invites? Yeah, absolutely. We'll we'll end up taking 20 quarterbacks for the Elite 11 Finals. And we've been at that number now, I think, for the past four or five years. Uh, we, we like that number. Uh, mm -hmm. It's an even number. <laughs> uh, but it also gives a lot of guys a chance to come out and compete. So uh, we'll fill out those last 11 spots as we go through both our final two regionals coming up. Um, in Las Vegas uh, on May 5th, and then we'll, we'll have our last stop in State College, Pennsylvania on May 19th. And then when we come out of that last regional camp, we'll get together as a group and, and uh, work back through all the kids we've seen and, and fill out that field. So typically, we, we, I think the last few years have come out of that last camp with usually 11 or 12 guys in. Um, so we have a, a good group, and, and uh, obviously uh, we've seen a bunch of great quarterbacks already this year. So um, we'll, we'll have a, a really great uh, selection for the finals this year in terms of the field of quarterbacks to choose from. And, and what we're looking for, we're looking yeah. for guys that first and foremost have done it on Friday nights. Um, we always want the, the film from the fall to be our North Star, right? We don't want to do a, a, a camp for the best campers, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, we want to we take the best quarterbacks in the country based on what we saw um, from their film in the fall and then combining that with an in-person workout at the regional. So uh, obviously 17 year olds can get a lot better from the end of their season in November uh, to when we're seeing guys now in April and May. So it's always great to get out and, and do these regionals and see a guy like a Tramel Jones who, who pops up where, you know, I think previously some of the narrative might've been that, you know, Hey, he's feeding it to a five-star receiver. And, mm -hmm. you know, is, is he really that kind of player? Um, and I think we saw at the regional and, and that's why we would love to get out and do them. Uh, this kid's game speaks for itself and stands on its own two feet. And, and so we're excited to get guys like Tramel Jones out to compete at the Elite 11 Finals. All right, Brian, when is the Elite 11 Finals and what's the best way for fans to follow along? Yeah, absolutely. We'll be we'll be obviously pushing out content from all of our social handles at, at Elite 11 um, and, and then working with great partners as we head towards the event for, for coverage on that front. And um, we'll be uh, executing the Elite 11 Finals this year. Uh, June 18th uh, through June 20th out here in Southern California um, with 20 of the top quarterbacks in the country. So we're, we're fired up and, and uh, you know, looking forward to these final two regionals to, to fill out that field. Yeah, and uh, look forward to having you back on once the field is kind of filled out. We can kind of preview the finals. But for now, appreciate your time dropping by the inside scoop. I know you guys got a lot of action going on over there. Thank you for having us on, Josh. Appreciate it. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.